Hey guys, this is Eve Scrapbooking with me. Happy Saturday to everyone. Today we're going to make a card, and this is just a quick and easy card. I can't do too much tilting because my little um, heart is still drying. I put glossy accents on it. and Well, first I put the Wink of Stella underneath. And then I put glossy accents on top. So when that completely dries, it'll be puffy, but yet you'll still be able to see that glitter through there. Isn't that cute? And this is just some scraps I had left over on my desk. Um, this is just a little piece of um, a charm that I got from Cindy Rozak. And she is with our affiliate group. And it, the name of it is called Scraps. Uh, Lighthouse Stop and Shop, and I will put that link below. She has beautiful laces, charms, chains, you name it. Okay, this is just a cutout that I did, and I put a little bit of Wink of Stella on there. And then these are three little pieces of bling that I got in my beautiful bling pack from uh, Tammy Van Erp, one of our admins. One of She is one of my partners in our group. This, I think, is absolutely beautiful. She made this. Look at this. It's a little charm that comes off, but yet it's magnetized. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. She knows I love bling, so I love everything about it. Then it has a little magnetic closure. And look at all of the bling she put inside here. First off, I want to read this to you. If you only knew how much those little moments with you matter to me. I love that. She and I are just like sisters that have never met. She lives in Alberta, Canada, and then I live in Alabama. So we're just like, we're so close. We've been close for a lot of years. But, you know, we've never met each other. But one day we will. So she put me just a ton of bling in here. I absolutely am in love with all of this. I wish I could find this bling around here somewhere. Look at it. It is it's like little rosettes. So pretty. And then these. And she used her fuse tool, I think, to make each one of these little pockets. And then this, of course, uh, I'm thinking she used her bind it all or one of those systems. This is also made to where it will come out. So I could slide that out and use it, you know, put something else in it if I wanted to, which I don't. But I am in love with it. Absolutely love it. Thank you so much, Tammy. I'll treasure that. But I am going to use the bling. So anyway, I did use some of the bling right there. Now let's open this up. This is one of those, what I would call a wow factor card. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? I love it. For summer, to me, that is just, that absolutely says Hawaii vacation. I love it. Okay, you close it back up. It'll go in an A2 size envelope and it is flat. So, one more time. Let's do the wow factor. Love it. I love it. I can't get enough of that. Okay, I'm, a lot of you may already know how to make this card. I had uh, seen a video on it a long, long time ago and had completely forgot about it until the video popped back up on my video stream and I thought, wow, I need to make that card. Okay, the first thing you're going to need, now the video that I watched, she made some very large flowers. I'm just going to do some smaller ones so they'll fit in an A2 size card. So these are 4x4, four four, and all I used on here is just like a printer paper. Don't use a real thick, heavy cardstock because your, your flowers won't pop out like they're supposed to. So I just used a, just a thin paper, almost like um, printer paper. So 4x4, four four, you're going to fold it in half this way, then you're going to turn it and fold it in half that way. Then you're going to take this this corner right here, now this is where my seam is, or my fold right there. You're going to take that corner, you're going to fold it back on itself just like that. So this is what we've got. Make sure you're seeing this. And then you're going to flip it over and fold that one back like that as well. So you've got a little thing that just looks like a little triangle. Then you're going to take one of these sides and just fold it down like that. It's almost like an origami 
fold. This is actually going to be where you cut right here. That's going to be just kind of like a little guideline. So then you just take your scissors right at the bottom of that last fold that you did and just kind of make you a little circle. Just kind of go around and make a little circle. Just like that. And then when you open this up, see if I can open it up. When you open it up, you've got what looks like a little hibiscus flower. Now to get the the inside parts, you could do this in a pattern paper as long as it wasn't very thick, but I don't think that it makes it look like that hibiscus flower part. I tried using my some of my larger markers. They just didn't work. They made too fat of a little line, so I'm just using my Copics. This one is Canary Yellow. And I'm using the brush tip, not the brush tip, but the um, chisel tip. And what you do is just start in the center and go right up that line where you made those folds. Go right up the other line and then come back in the middle of that one and just make a little line that way. Of course, you want to make some of them short, some of them long, that kind of thing. You know kind of how, you can probably do this a lot better than me. You know kind of how a hibiscus looks. It has all those veins in it that are so pretty. And just go around the flower doing that with the yellow. Okay, then I switch over to my orange. And I do. I start in the center again, and I try to go kind of in the in between some of those yellow lines. And I do the same thing. Some long. You, as you can see, mine are not very straight because I have that shaky hand syndrome. But uh, you know, the veins in the flowers are not really straight either because it's nature. Just kind of put some of those in in between those yellow ones. And then I go with one of, oh, I'm sorry, that was uh, YR68 Orange. And then this one is R24 Prawn Red. So then I take this one and I just, there again, start at the base or in the center and just kind of pull out some different lines, trying to, again to go in between, just filling in all those spaces. Just like that. Then I go with my lipstick red, which is R29. I think I should actually, no, this one's, I started to say, I think I should use this one first, but I think that's a little bit darker than that one. So I go from light to dark is basically what I'm trying to get out here. And these, you're just going to make them right in the center. They're not going to come out very far at all. They're just going to make that center part that you need. And then I just kind of highlight that center in. And then on this part, if, and believe me, if you don't have Copics, use whatever markers you have. Or use crayons. I saw someone even using a crayon. And especially on this part. Now, I don't have a yellow crayon that is not broken all to pieces. So, I'm going to be using my uh, Y06 yellow in my Copics. And I just, all I'm going to do is color in a little bit of this. So, I take it and I start at the, down close to the center. And I just pull out, I just flick out. I'm holding my marker to the side. And not, not wanting all my lines to be uniform. So some of them go long. Some of them go short. It just kind of fills in that. Okay. So that is all the coloring that you do. And like I said, you can do this with crayons. You do not have to have markers. You can do it with any kind of marker you have. Now you're going to need seven of these. I have already pre-done my other ones because just to save time for the video. I did them the same way. So I'm going to lay these back out because there is a way that they need to be laid out. 
in order to make this work. Alright, I'm going to leave this laying this way and you can do a little snapshot of the screen, but let me go ahead and get this one done first. Now when you get that done, what you're going to do is you're going to cut out one of these petals. Just take where the fold lines are and cut out one of those petals. Just like that. That, that part right there. That's all you need to cut out on each one of them. You're going to do that on every flower. And then you're just going to put a little glue up there at the top, right at the top part. You don't go all the way down. And then just put those two petals, just bring those two together, just like that. And it makes that flower kind of cup up a little bit. And I'm going to trim this. If you don't have it exactly even, just give it a little trim. It's not a biggie. And then you're going to just press it down where one of your little folds are. Okay. Now I'm going to look back at my picture again to make sure I'm folding these correct or laying these out correctly. All right, this is the way that they need to be kind of laid out in order to put them together. So if you want to take a screenshot of that, I'm going to leave that just a moment. Let you take a screenshot if you want to. That's how I did in order to know how to lay everything out. Okay, now you see where I have my little X's on here? I have those little X's. Those are the places that you're going to put glue. Now, since I'm using my art glitter glue, I can't go through and put uh, glue on each one of those. So I'm going to be gluing them just one, one flower at a time or one petal at a time, whatever. One flower, I guess you would call it. So this one's going to get glue on each one of these three petals. So you're going to put just a little dab right there right there and right there. Now you put it at the ends. Don't put it all the way down. Then you're going to take this one, the one that's on the right hand side, and you're going to lay it, this petal and that petal together. Just like that. Whoops. Well, like that, I should say. And see, I have that numbered, number two. This one's zero, that one's two, and this one's one. Okay, on this one, the same thing. I'm going to put it right here on the left hand side on that first petal. Just like that. So that's got to start the making. Now you can see I have an X here, 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 and here. So I am going to put some glue on this X and on this X. And then I'm going to bring this one up, number three. I have it marked. And I'm going to place it right there, just on top of that flower. I'm going to pick this up and make sure that I'm kind of getting it even because I can't see it where it's laying. And just make sure that you only get that glue on one side so that it doesn't glue your flower together. Now we've got this one, which is number five. This one's number four. They're going to go just like this. So basically what you're doing is stacking your flowers. So we're going to put a little glue right here, right here, right here, and right here. So you see, we, we left this one alone. It's going to get glued, but it's, it's going to be in a minute. Can't glue it right now because the glue would dry. So we're going to take number four. And we're going to put it down right there, just like that, just putting it even with the other flower. Press your glue down. And then we're going to take number five, and we're going to put that one right there, even with the other flower, and press it down. Just make sure that, let that glue dry a little bit. And now, if you see, we've got it again, three X's to where we need to put glue. This one doesn't have any X's on it because that was that last one that we made and it's going to glue right on top and it'll be our last glue. Okay, so we're going to put that one right there. Just kind of, you know, keep them as close. They don't have to be perfect, just as close as you can get them. You know, this is a handmade flower and 
it's just going to be beautiful regardless of how you do that. All right, that is that. So we're going to lay that aside and let those let that glue dry really well. Now I went ahead and made up my card base because everybody knows how to make a card base. I just have a A2 size card, which is uh, five and a half by four and a quarter, and then I matted it twice, and I'm matting it in, with some colors that are real summery, real beachy, summer, whatever you want to call it. Then I just cut this little strip, and it's, you know, I think this back piece is an inch and a quarter, and the top piece is an inch. I'm going to put that right across there just to kind of break up that busyness of that part. And I'm going to hold it up so I can see if I've got it straight. I think I do. And then this is just a cutout that I cut out from um, some of these little cutouts that I had from that Happy Place um, paper pad that I showed you in a couple of videos back. And it, it said it was all together like this one is. But this is a way that you can alter, you know, these little notes like this. If that, that was really too big to put on there like that, this one was the same size. I wanted it on there, but I didn't want it to cover the whole front. So I just cut it apart, trimmed it down, and then matted it with some of this paper that's on the back of here. And it just says, I must have flowers always and always. So we're going to put that like that. So don't be afraid to cut your um, little cards, uh, journaling cards, sentiments, things like that apart because you can use them in other ways. You don't have to leave them together in order to use them. So we're going to put that one like that at a little angle. And then we'll put this one at this kind of angle. Like that. And then I just took some seam binding and I tied a couple of little bows. There again, nothing spectacular. You know how to tie bows and I'm sure just about everyone has seam binding. So we're going to put one right there. I'm just going to hold that down for a second. And then we're going to take this green one and we're going to put it right here. So we'll put it right there on the tip of that one. Just kind of dress it up just a little bit more. Keep it from being so plain on the front. And I like the tails to just kind of follow the edge of where we trim that out like that. Alright, and now we're going to take a little bit of bling out of here and see if we can match it up and put a couple of pieces of bling on here. And I think I'm going to use this one again. It's the one I used it a minute ago. And what color do we want to go with? You know that has that orange in the background. We could use that orange one right there. So these are, are all together. So I just go across and cut them apart. And then I take my little tool. This tool that everybody was waiting on, but now it is it has shipped out. And I think I will, where will I put these? I think I'm going to put one right here. Then I'm going to put an orange one right here and I'll probably put a clear one over here on this side and maybe what what color maybe a green one to bring out just a little bit of that green so we'll put a little green on oops where did it go uh oh I think my sticky come off the back of that one, so I'm just going to I'm going to try to pull that pink one off there and use it. I will use that other one. I'll just use it when I don't have to put glue on it. When, it, when you don't have to wait and watch me put glue on it. Whoops! Those things are shooting all over the place. Okay, so we're going to put that one right there. So I think that's cute. Let's see, I was just looking to see if it needs anything else. And I think it doesn't. I think that's good enough for the front. So we're going to move this aside. And open it up. 
and I will show you how to put this in. I think this should be dry now. All you need to do on this is you need to center it between the top and the bottom of your card. So that looks about right right there. Put a little dab of glue right here. Holding that, fold your card back down and press that on there and let it hold. Now you could use double side tape here. You could use score tape or whatever. This glue holds really well for me so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to hold it there for a second. Then I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to flip my card over and I am going to put a little dab of glue there and holding that down, close that one as well and hold it just a second. These are super easy and quick cards, but they are wow. The thing that takes the longest is just coloring each one of the flowers. That takes a little bit of time, but it's not that bad. To make such a wow factor, it's not bad at all. Okay, I think that should be dry now, so let's see. See if we're gonna see if it's gonna pop open like it needs to. Oh yeah, there we go. Sometimes it takes just a minute to get them all popped open, but isn't that cute? Look at that. That, to me, that is such a wow. If I got that and opened it up, oh my goodness, I would be just blown away. And see, you can make it smaller or larger. I just love it. I sit and play with mine. Okay, that is it, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. And again, I want to show you this heart. So if you have glossy accents, and if you if you don't have glossy accents, we have it in the store. We also have the uh, Wink of Stella. Put your little Wink of Stella down on just, I just freehanded cut this heart out. Put a Wink, wink of Stella down on there, it's just clear. And then put some glossy accents on. And let me change my light so you can get a good view of that. There you go. You see what it's doing? Absolutely beautiful. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. There will be another winner announced at the end of this tutorial. If you are that person, then please private message me your address, your mailing address, and I will send you out a gift. Either one of these or one of the, the other projects that I have made. We had a winner last video and I posted her name on there. I haven't heard from her yet, but I did post her name on there or her YouTube name. And we'll have a winner each video. So don't forget to leave a comment below. I choose the winners from the comments. Leave a comment below. Subscribe and like this video to have a chance to win. Also check out the challenge. The link is below to our challenge. Click on that and read a little bit about the challenge. You could win a $15 gift certificate to the boutique. We'll talk to you guys later. Have a very, very great weekend. Thank you all. Bye-bye.